What is good y'all, it is Anime K here and we are back with another video. And today we're doing 10 facts about Naruto you may have not known. Let's get straight into the video. So first, so you all know the legendary, the legendary Sanin, Jiraiya, right? But what you didn't know is the legendary Sanin is a reference to an old novel. The novel was called The Ballad of the Hero Jiraiya, published in 1839. And this book is where Kishimoto got a lot of his inspiration for Orochiromu and, and I'm sure Tsunade as well. I'm not too sure about Tsunade, but I know Orochiromu and there's mentions of snakes in there. But obviously, that's where he got the name Jiraiya from. And yeah, that's just cool fact. But moving on to number nine. Now, Sanji from One Piece. He was meant to be called Naruto, but at the time, Naruto had just come out. So the creator of One Piece had to change his name to Sanji. Moving on, number eight. Naruto almost got cancelled by a certain organization. It wouldn't say what organization, but they were not happy with the amount of deaths that was going on in Naruto. And we're requesting that one of the sponsors pulled out of the show. So we may have not even had Naruto what we had today, but thank God them sponsors did not pull out and we still got the legendary show that we see today. And I understand that because it's probably like Naruto was obviously it was on Cartoon Network and I'm sure Naruto but some people probably saw it as more of a cartoon than a ninja show so probably the high amount of deaths were probably really scary because even from the very first episode of Naruto people were dying like you know the very first episode Naruto you know um I forget the sensei's name but the one where Naruto had to fight him to protect Iruka sensei right in the very first episode there's a death so i get it but thank god we still got to have the show we have today but number seven naruto wasn't supposed to be originally about ninja but was meant to have magic now this is really interesting like i wonder how different naruto would have been with magic i don't know we would have would, we, would it be well hey Rust, if you take a look at shows like black clover it might give you basically a good insight to what naruto might have been like but thank god we got the, the show that we got today. So number six, the tallest shinobi in the hidden leaf is Ibo, Ibo, Ibiki I, ah, Marino, Ibiki Marino, right? Standing at six foot four. So if you remember, if you don't remember who this character is, he is the head of interrogation. He's like the first person we see during the tuning exams. And he's the one that does the tests that, you know, when team seven have to take the tests and it basically tests your teamwork and it tests your trust in your team. But yeah, he was head of interrogation and six foot four, flipping out. He's almost as tall as a basketball player there. But number five, Team Seven was the first to be passed by Kakashi. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know Kakashi, when he first became a Jonin, he was very hard on a lot of teams and if you didn't meet his expectations he was so quick to just cancel and get rid of a lot of teams and team seven naruto sasuke and sakura were the, were the first team to be passed by kakashi and the reason why he was so hard on teams because he blamed himself for obito's death and rin's death and maybe maybe more so minito's death as well so that's why he was so hard on the teams and Basically, he had a high bar and if you didn't meet his bar, he just didn't pass you. But he didn't do it because he was harsh. He did it because he didn't want he didn't want ninjas that were unexperienced or didn't know how to work in their teams to be sent out on ninja missions because that could be really dangerous because, you know, he didn't want more kids dying, basically, at such a young age. Number four, Asuma cigarette was never lit in the American version of Naruto. Now, I actually went back, I couldn't find no, it wouldn't let me like, I couldn't find no clips, but I know I have heard this before that basically they just, this just cigarette was just never lit in the American versions, which is weird because like nearly every American movie you see, there's always someone smoking or having a cigarette. So it's weird that they didn't allow it when it was an anime, but yeah. But number three, Shikomaru's IQ is two is 200 and it's 30 times higher than Bill Gates' his IQ. It just shows to show you how smart Shikomaru was as a character and why he was chosen to lead so many teams, you know, during the Sasuke retrieval arc, or he was like one of the main pinnacle people during the war arc as well. And why he's Naruto's advisor in Boruto because he's just so smart and having someone like Shikomaru next to Naruto and to advise him keeps the village safe and he's a really important character. And he's also one of my favorite characters in the show. And the first time we get to see his intelligence is obviously when he's against Tamari as well. So 
yeah, he's a really interesting character and for someone so lazy but to be so smart, it's just it's just funny and funny in itself. But moving on to number two, the ramen shop. Did you know the ramen shop was real? The ramen shop is a real place from Kishimoto's memories as a college student. The ramen shop in Naruto is real and in Kush in Kyushu near where Kishimoto graduated from university. I know I'm probably pronounced that wrong, but it's K Y U S H U Kishuyu. So yeah, that's just so that's where Kishimoto took his inspiration for for the beloved ramen shop that we see that we've seen in Naruto and it's still there to this day in Boruto. And last but not least, Kakashi had a slogan which he would end his sentences with, and his slogan was Gazaru, spelled G O Z A R U. That is spelled G O Z A R U in the early drafts of Naruto. So it's funny, like imagine Kakashi ending every sentence of Gazuru. It was it just seems a bit funny that he would Kakashi had his own slogan like Naruto's Datibayo. <laughs> or yeah, or believe it, right? That was basically what Kakashi would have had his own slogan. Which I'm glad he did not have that slogan, because if that just seems like a weird word for Kakashi to use anyway. But look, like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Tell me if you enjoyed this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, I will do more videos like this where I really want to look at Atachi's um, abilities and because there's a lot of um, you know mythology and there's a lot of um, weapons in Naruto that are linked to a lot of mythical creatures in Japanese history, and I would love to touch on them. You know, for example, like Sasuke is carrying and all that, but. We'll get into that in another video, but look, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Obviously, if you do want a part two to this or another style video like this, you know, remember to obviously like and obviously share the video. And yeah, this has been Anime K, and peace. I am out. Thank you for watching.